starlings. Wow, I am back on my actual camera. What even is this? But no, I am back, and yes, this is a clickbaity-ish title. Milo, knock it off. But to get back into the swing of things after filming two videos on my phone because my Sony Vegas is not working for some reason, I decided to get back into this with a, how do you turn this around? A Q and A. And first, a second, can we just talk about how cute this is? Look at the cute feather. And then this is, but I asked you guys to ask me questions on my Instagram and we are going to open those up right meow. Okay, so the first question is, what made you decide to put Lolita in your account name? Okay, so this I kind of have to answer because I might be changing Regal Sisters to Lolita Molina. Um, and I should probably explain where Lolita comes from and why people are confused that my first book, 2459, is under the name Kelsey and not Lolita. Now, I was born Lolita Andrevenia. Um, that was my birth name. It's on my original birth certificates. But when I was adopted, my name was changed to Kelsey Monroe, and then when I was re-adopted by my now family, it was changed to Kelsey Molina, but I always felt that Kelsey was just not a name that suited me as a person as I got older. I feel like I took way too long to explain that. Like, you could have gotten it like the first sentence I even said. Can I just say how weird this whole process is that it could analyze your face? Like, the whole FBI and the phone thing is starting to become more and more of like an actual thing. Um, how long have I been a fan of Lana? So this goes back to 2004, believe it or not. Um, when I was growing up, my mother used to watch the show called 24. Quick rundown of the show so it makes a little bit more sense to you. It was about a CTU or counter-terrorist unit um, agent named Jack Bauer who was played by Keith Sutherland. The show ran for nine seasons with a spin-off movie and a spin-off series and a rehash, it's, we're not gonna talk about that. But basically he had 24 hours to solve a case, which was to stop a terrorist from harming. <clears throat> I was it New York, no, it was Los Angeles. Um, and it was a really cool show, but I wasn't allowed to watch it. I was four years old in 2004, so I was not allowed to watch it because my mother said it was scary. I never forgot what the woman looked like. She had the really long, dark hair, and she was wearing black and white, and she was in a blue room is what I remembered. And she was getting electrocuted, and she was pleading and crying, and it scared it scared the crap out of me. I was I was petrified. But in a strange way, it also motivated me to like look into movies more. I was so interested in that sort of thing. Flash forward 10 years later to 2014 when my mother said I was finally old enough to watch 24 with her. We watched it all the way through from seasons 1 through 9, the movie, the remake, the redemption, all of it. And when that scene came on, I threw my popcorn up in the air and screamed, Oh my goodness, that's Lana. So Lana, if you ever watch this, hi. What is my favorite book currently? I've always loved Entwined by Heather Dixon um, ever since I was 12. It's probably my favorite, but my all-time favorite is obviously the Grimm fairy tale stories because that's what I just grew up with, you know? This sounds funny. How long does it usually take for me to do my makeup. It really just depends on the look that I'm doing and how much time I have. Like if I'm going to school, I take 10 to 15 minutes, maybe 20 if I'm like really going in and want to do a full face. But for this look, this one took me like 30 minutes. Don't mind my brow, but this is today's eye look. The lashes are Dodo Lashes in 309, by the way. Whoa, look at how cool my earrings look when they're out of focus. Why does everything shiny look so good when it's out of focus? How many languages do you know? I only know English fluently and I can communicate with deaf people on a very basic scale. So I do know American Sign Language and I am currently learning Spanish but I'm not fluent in any other languages other than English. What made me decide to do YouTube? It's kind of a sad thing. <laughs> this channel has gone through everything. I used to have over 400, even 500 videos on this account before I eventually took them all down and started a clean slate with Regal Sisters, but it used to be 88K Mini, and it was a Littlest Pet Shop account. I still have like one or two of those videos still on here because memories. <laughs> but I did start YouTube um, right before my father passed away. 
I really was getting into the, the Littlest Pet Shop YouTube, like their side of YouTube, like their little their little corner. I was like, what, 11, turning 12, and I was loving it. I loved it. My old friends, my ex-friends back then, were also into it, and we used to do Once Upon a Time videos with the Littlest Pet Shops. We made our own series, and I was actually kind of well-known in the community for them, but I eventually grew out of it. Um, and then I changed it to Regal Sisters when I switched schools. Um, and this is what you see now. What's my favorite food? Burgers, fries, and fried chicken. But I love all sorts of food. Like I love calamari. Calamari is so good, especially from Opavera in Philadelphia. How do you make the eyeliner stay in the waterline? Hold on, dogs are gonna bark. The secret is to use a gel eyeliner or a waterproof eyeliner and not liquid. It has to be gel or pencil and it has to be waterproof or gel. Have I started watching Manifest on NBC? I have not. Milo! All right, yes, I have not started watching Manifest, even though I know Josh Dallas is in it, and I do want to see it, I really do. I'm just lazy. Okay, before they start with the woodwork again, I am going to end this video. All my social media links down in the description box below with all my very first ever published book, 2459. Thank you so much to everyone who is buying and supporting that. Comment down below what you would like to see in the next video or what kind of video you would like to see next. I love hearing what you guys have to say and you have some pretty interesting ideas. Be sure to subscribe if you really enjoy my content because I do have more videos coming your way. The like button is there if you like this video, but if you didn't like it, there is also a dislike button. And there's also a little bell next to the subscription button because YouTube sucks at reminding you. Okay, no, but for real, I gotta go. Bye.